right, so using the remote control, it looks like I am recording there. I can see that on the screen. And uh, hopefully you can see the great quality picture. It's got an autofocus on it. I don't have to worry about that. I will zoom in just a little bit for you, just using my remote control. And what you're hearing now is the onboard microphone. And uh, I am literally within arm's reach of the camera. And so uh, we got about two foot, two and a half foot uh, to the camera. And that is the audio reception that you get. So I'm going to uh, stop this video. I'm going to plug in my uh, external microphone and I'm going to show you the difference. Okay, so we are back now and I do have the, uh, the microphone set up on top of the, uh, the camera. And again, I'm within two feet of the, uh, of the microphone. And so this is the audio that you're going to get. Again, I have tried lapel mics and uh, various other mics, boom mics. And uh, the the reception has been uh, has been less than desired. And what I have found is that this this little shotgun mic happens to be uh, one of the best. It's one of the best that I've been able to find so far. And I've tried five different microphones. All right. So today we are taking a look at the 4K Ultra High Definition video camera, which was sent to me at no charge for the purpose of this review. And this is a really nice little camera. I love the picture quality of this thing. We're going to check it out here in just a minute. But you get your camera, you get a couple of batteries, you do not get the charging cradle. So uh, you're going to have to charge your uh, your battery from the USB port, which is in the back of the camera. You've also got an HDMI port and you've got an audio jack port in the back. No cables are included except for the charging cable. They do give you a 32 gig memory card and I would suggest if you're recording any video or taking many pictures, you're going to want to upgrade that to a, a larger SD card. Now the camera itself has a nice little strap here on the back so that you can fit your hand up there and it fits nice and snug just in case you're walking or you stumble, uh, this isn't gonna go anywhere. When it is strapped to your hand, then everything is right at your fingertips. You can zoom in, zoom out right here on top. You got your record button, start and stop here on the back. You've also got a little viewfinder if you happen to set this up on a tripod and it is threaded for a standard tripod. We're gonna be setting that up on the tripod here in just a moment. This viewfinder, is a really nice viewfinder that flips around so that you can set it up and record yourself uh, for certain for YouTube videos or for whatever else you may be doing. And uh, you can make your movements and adjustments uh, without having to go to the back side of the camera, check things out, come back and, and move things that way. Everything can be done uh, with the viewfinder right here. And it does have a nice lens cover that is attached and uh, you can see that it is currently working. From the inside here, you do have all of your menu buttons and all of the changes. You have full control over this camera, changing the frame rate, the white balance, the ISO, everything that you can change on a DSLR camera camera, you can change here and get a, an exceptional quality picture except for your audio. The audio, the onboard microphone is a factory microphone and you cannot control the uh, the level of input. And so uh, if, if I was to say anything negative about this camera, it's going to be the audio. And I'm going to show that to you here in just a minute, but they have a, a solution to that and that is to use an external microphone. Now I'm going to be using this little uh, shotgun mic and they do have a boot here on top so that you can add that microphone to your camera. Or if you feel like your audio is fine or you're taking pictures of this, you can uh, add some lighting to your camera, whatever you want to do. It does have a shoe there for that. And uh, the, this also has is a remote control so that you can change all of those settings from across the table. You don't have to get into the backside of your camera and, and make all of those adjustments. You can do it right here. It also has a cool feature of night vision. And I'm going to show you all that. Now I'm not going to go into all the menu settings, but what I am going to show you is the audio quality and I'm going to show you the night vision. So let's check this out. So I'm attaching just a standard tripod. Okay. So using my remote control, I can go ahead and hit the record button. Now, what we're going to do here is uh, we're going to switch this over to the night vision because this thing is super cool. So I'm going to kill some lights here and then we're going to pop over to night vision, show you what that looks like. All right. So I'm standing right here in front of the camera. I know that you can't see me, but here we go. There is the night vision. Check that out. I mean, I am in a pitch black studio right now and uh, I can take video if I want to. I think that that is incredibly awesome. So once I, I can turn it on, I can turn it off. And, uh, and there we are. So we're going to put the lights back on and take a couple, take a look at a couple of other things here. Okay. Just so that you can see the difference. I kicked that ISO up to about, uh, about 800 there, 600. I don't remember what it is, 
uh, but I am recording at a 1080p, 30 frames per second. And uh, I don't see anything else on my viewfinder that might be of interest to you. Um, so we're going to uh, we're going to bring that ISO back down to the 200, just so that you can see that I'm doing everything right from this position. Okay, so that last ISO was at uh, 1600. This one is at 200. And again, I think it's a great quality picture when you uh, put that up against the uh, the Sony ZV-1. The, my Sony ZV-1 is setting at 25 frames per second, uh, four and a half f-stop, and an ISO of 125. And so uh, these are probably somewhat comparable. I know that my uh, Sony ZV-1 is a little bit dark right now. Um, I can move, move that up to a frame rate of uh, 30. Uh, but we're going to leave it at the 25 for now. So uh, this uh, this digital camera, super nice. I really like it. And uh, again, I would highly suggest that if you're going to be using this, uh, you use an external microphone because the onboard mic is uh, less than desirable.